Hello everyone, this is Kara. Today we will be showing you how to make this creative intro. Since the add-in tips involved are quite a lot, we will divide the series into several episodes. And in this video, we will focus on how to use shorter transition and the blend effect to increase the texture of your video image. So if you are interested in this one, keep watching. In this image, I have used a shorter transition without creating full screen effect. How do I put it off exactly? Do you still remember how we created the color block flying effect in the previous tutorial? Well, back in that video, we used three red rectangles. Now we will number them 1, 2, and 3 respectively. We will put clip number 2 on the main track. Clips number 1 and 3 on the overlay track. Next, we cut out of the red rectangle behind it. We will give it a number 4. And of course, when they are all in the frame, they form this kind of blocking connection. At this point, we add a shorter transition fact. Well, since the color of the overlapping parts are the same, we then could have this effect that the overlapping parts remain the same while the parts that are not overlapping produce a short effect. And if you turn them into different colors, you can feel the difference more visually. At the beginning of the process, the material number 2 fades away, revealing the overlapping part with the material number 4 at the back. At this point, the entire number 4 material is actually undergoing the shorter transition effect. But because of the cover of the number 1 and number 3 clips, it does not appear on the screen. Well, in the second half of the shorter transition effect, the number 1 and number 3 clips on the overlay track end up playing. So the sides of the blocked material number 4 are revealed. At this point, we can now say it. Is it pretty simple? When you have learned these animation designs we have shown you, you will come to notice that these elements placed in the pictures looks a little bit too clear. And if the border appears too clear, the elements in the picture will turn less harmonious with each other, and thus reduce the image texture. So how can we change that and make the whole thing look more coherent? Here I will introduce a method. We can find some dust footage and scratch footage and use them to increase the texture of your video image. The process is also very simple. When we finish editing other footage, place the footage that we use as a filter on the overlay track. Find in the inspector to align the frame with height or width to make it spread out. Next, go down to Compositing, select the Screen. Now there you can see some elements on the screen that look like dust. These elements will distract us from the main view and will achieve the goal of making the borders of other materials look less clear. Here in this video, I used the circular light spot material. The purpose is to make the flat color blocks and the 3D elements look more coordinated and create a space-like feeling. And in this image, I used a material that looks like Lois. Unlike the previous one, here I enlarge the material and move it to the bottom right corner. This helps to create a new border between the material and the elements. And the blurred border can add more laser text to the whole image. Well, that's all for today's video. And if you want to learn more about editing tricks, what has been going on with VideoPro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. 
and we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.